Founded in 1884, Cincinnati Millicron is a world leader in advanced manufacturing technology and factory automation with annual sales of $850 million in over 100 countries around the world. The quality of Cincinnati Millicron's products has long symbolized the strong work ethic of the people of Cincinnati to the rest of the country and the world. And the man behind that quality image was Frederick A. Geyer. Upon returning to Cincinnati in 1887, Geyer, due to his father's prior business dealings with the Cincinnati Screw and Tap Company, became the firm's secretary and treasurer. Within one month, his father died, and Geyer, using a loan from his mother, purchased a one-third interest in the company. Within two years, Geyer realized that the real opportunity for growth was in milling machines. The company proceeded to sell the screw and tap portion of the business and renamed the company the Cincinnati Milling Machine Company. Shortly, Geyer assumed controlling interest. Fred Geyer recognized the technical ability of Fred Holtz, who was the man who directed the design and manufacture of the milling machines. Fred Holtz held nine patents. However, Holtz didn't take business risks like Geyer did. Geyer had a system to the work and knew what the profits and losses were and where the leaks were. Geyer expanded his business outside the Cincinnati market by traveling to other states and eventually established a sales force. Business grew steadily and expanded to Europe. During the 1893 depression, Geyer's business acumen was tested. But while other shops and businesses folded, Geyer found ways to succeed. Under his tutelage, the company's milling machine won a gold medal for construction and design at the 1900 Paris World Fair. The company's success, coupled with their logo, Cincinnati, welded onto the side of every product, advanced the city's reputation as the world's machine tool capital. In 1905, Geyer realized that the days of the all-purpose miller were limited. So he created a sales engineering department to design and build specialized milling machines. This proved so successful, other machine tool companies copied the idea. By the 1920s, use of scientific methods increased so dramatically that Geyer responded by constructing a research laboratory devoted exclusively to advancing technology. In 1916, he organized the Employees Service Committee to develop a program of service mutually advantageous to employees and the company. The employees' mutual aid resulted from this effort. It provided financial, legal, housing, and educational loans to employees. In 1920, this committee expanded into employee relations. He developed a company medical department. Medical, surgical, dental, and diagnostic services were provided free of charge. In addition, he instituted an employee training program that combined shop work with study. It proved so successful that the Board of Education eventually arranged to take it over. Geyer's community involvement mirrored his business achievements. He was instrumental in the introduction of the first co-op system in the country while he was on the Board of Trustees at the University of Cincinnati. Frederick A. Geyer was the driving spirit and the first president of the Council of Social Agencies in 1913. He was also a founding member of the Community Chest in Cincinnati, one of the oldest in the country. He served on the boards of numerous organizations, but his most passionate involvement was with the Children's Home. A regular contributor to the Endowment Fund, he served as a board of trustee member from 1910 until 1934. Under Fred A. Geyer's direction, the Cincinnati Milling Machine Company grew from 25 employees into the largest machine tool company in the world. In business, in education, in social service, in civic affairs, and in religion, those who worked with him were inspired by his deftness in handling practical affairs and by his shining faith that the world which ought to be is more real than the world that is. His life was a rare intertwining of busy, practicable performance and unquenchable idealism. <laughs>